Hey guys, so something very different today. As you guys should know, if you've been watching me for a long time, I stay in a small room in my parents' house. So I'm going to show you how to make the most of what you have. Good storage ideas. From For the past two weeks, I have been transforming my room. As you can see, the paint has changed. I've been working really hard. I thought I could do it all on my own. I just want to give a special thanks to all the people that helped me with this because I was thinking, I'm a strong girl. I can do this on my own, but no, I actually needed help. So I don't want to rent. I want to buy a house. So I'm staying at my parents' house until I can afford to do that. So I just thought I would like glam things up a little bit to make it more fitting for me. As you saw before, I had like the lilac kind of purple kind of paint and I had that for ages and I when it comes to DIY I'm not really bothered to change things because I just don't like the extra work that I have to put in on top of going to work and doing other things but it just was right and um, I was encouraged to just change up and you know when you do things like that you kind of feel different you kind of feel better because it's like a nice change it's uh, symbolic of a fresh start and it's just nice to have a change here and there and to just maintain so i've kind of promised myself that that's what i'll be doing kind of change things around just maintain not make a big deal out of it but actually just make the effort around me um some of the furniture i bought i definitely want to take it to my place god willing when i buy my house by the grace of god so I will show you the whole process. So first of all, myself and my sisters painted the room white. I used a Dulux white paint, nothing special. I didn't use a base coat to paint over it. I just decided to paint it white because I just wanted to see how it went. I didn't want to give myself extra work. My sisters were amazing. They really helped out. It would have taken me ages if I had done it alone. So I'm really grateful for their help. Um, as you can see, we didn't really plan that well. We could have, what I should have done, because basically what happened was my bed broke, right? And I've had my bed for ages and it was fine, but it broke. So I should have decided that I wanted to sleep on the floor on the mattress before I started painting. So what we did is that we moved the majority of things to the middle of my room. And the space is already limited and it was only after we had finished painting the whole room that I decided that I, I just wanted to get rid of the bed and I wanted to break the bed up and sleep with my mattress on the floor until my new bed came. So that's what I did but it was just very stressful stepping over things and not having that much room the perks of having a small room but you know what I'm grateful I'm not even complaining because all my life I've, I've had a room to myself I've never had to share with my siblings so I'm really grateful that I've had my own personal space so yeah that's what we did uh i slept on the floor for about a week and a bit and it was so 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 uncomfortable like when i'd wake up my back would really hurt and it wasn't easy but i had to wait for this new bed when the beds came myself and my sisters thought that we could do it alone and the bed that i bought is a very complex one actually it's a four in one so it's supposed to be a sofa bed um, it's, it's got storage it can pull out into a double bed it's supposed to be a day bed or something like that but i'll show you the picture and i'll put the link below i got it from ikea i ordered online and i received the bed on sunday the 31st of may and I thought that I could put it together myself. I watched a tutorial on YouTube. It looked kind of easy. I was like, let's do this. I felt so miserably that it wasn't even funny. Like I just couldn't even do it. Me and my nails, like trying to fit a complex bed together wasn't happening. So I called someone to help me. Thank you so much for helping me. Um, this is a family friend that we've known for ages and he just always comes through for us anytime we need some kind of DIY stuff. Um, and I was really grateful for that because my dad was actually away at the time and is still away and wasn't able to help me out. So it was so nice to have that back up. Um, and it's, you know, at the time as well, like it would be hard to get any other friends or anyone else to come and help you at that last minute when you really just want to sleep in a bed and stop sleeping on the floor. So it was a really, really tedious process because we, I helped him out he obviously has the experience of fixing things and it's just kind of like more of a man's thing sometimes um and i helped him out but we just kept getting it wrong and although it was a lot easier having someone there to help 
he's learning as well. He's never fitted a bed like this before. So we just kept getting it wrong. So I was just standing there like, I'm tired. I just want to just sleep. So it was eventually fitted. It took like hours, but we eventually figured it out. He said he will come back another day to do the drawers because my mum was like, he needs to go home because we're so grateful for his help. But he need, we all need to rest. And I had work the next day and we finished, like we started around, let's say five, six, finished around like going towards 11. So that was just long. So I had my bed halfway done. I then decided that because I bought this mattress and I thought it would go nicely with it, but it ended up just being really flat and uncomfortable. I will change my current mattress that I have now because I want a newer one just to kind of refresh it and keep things fresh. I then decided that I wanted this um, storage that I have now. Um, I, so I just bought it and rearranged the way that things were. And I'm really, really happy with the results. When you have a small room, you definitely need to think about storage, storage, storage and compact ways to fit your things around. Before I got this bed, I used I bought the underbed storage from Argos, which I use. It has wheels on it. It was about like two for £20 or something. Not expensive at all. I would make use of the space under my bed, but now I've actually got fitted storage where everything can go. So that's fine. I put all my clothes there. For me, it's like I have a lot of things in such a small space. So I've learned over the years how to kind of store things. And I've changed my room around quite a bit since I've been on YouTube. I used to have the dressing table and then I changed it. And then I had these other things. Um, and even now, there's still parts of my room that need to be like painted. So I, w I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm totally finished, but um, I've done the, the hard work. So I really like the way it looks. And I chose white because when I make videos, it kind of like makes your skin pop and makes you pop more. And I was just tired of the whole lilac theme. It was girly and pretty for some time, but it needed to be redone. It needed to be refreshed. And this is more fitting for me. Um, I am enjoying it. It's been a day since everything has been like this. And I know that I will shift bits here and there. I mean, my shelf area is quite messy at the moment. So I won't show that part because, yeah, there's no point. But I will do something with that as well, just to tidy up and get rid of things. And with me as well, I try not to overly buy because I don't have the space to contain things. And I like to think of things that I want slash need. And if I am buying things, I need to think about, okay, what am I taking out of my collection? Because I don't want to have too much stuff. But I really look forward to the day God blesses me with my house because I will be really you know making it pretty i think i'll keep things minimalistic and simple but like really glamorous and nice at the same time and just store my things in a nice way but this is a good start i'm really happy with the way everything looks if you guys have any questions feel free to ask another thing as well is hanging bags as well hanging bags up definitely helps with making the most of a small room because if you were to just leave bags on the ground it will be messy your space will be limited so shelves hanging bags up definitely a nail varnish rack as well as you guys know I always paint my nails I'm a nail varnish fan love my nails to always be manicured and pretty so that definitely helps because it would cause crowding all over the place and you just want you know, God has blessed me with this room. He's blessed me in my own space, but you want to make the most of it and you want to make it as spacious as you can. Make the most of what you have, guys. Don't be discouraged. I hope you enjoy the video. God bless. Bye. But um, I don't put, I may not put, you know, like Proverbs 3.26 and all that, but it's still scripture. The Proverbs stuff came.